Creighton made its season debut on Sunday against North Dakota State, beating the Bison 69-58. I'm John Niatawa with the World Herald here to break it down for you. It was uh, an interesting, a, a different environment for a college basketball game, certainly. Um, I think if you talk to the Jays players, though, they were just glad to be back in the gym after a long off season of waiting and tea, and they finally got to suit up and play a, a game. And at times, it really did look like the, the Creighton team that many are accustomed to seeing, especially based on what happened last year when the Jays won a share of the Big East Championship, finished number seven in the AP poll, entered this season with a lot of hype, returning four starters from that team. Um, the ball moved well at times. Creighton assisted on two-thirds of its field goals, only had four turnovers. Um, you saw Christian Bishop go to work for stretches. New transfer, um, Antoine Jones, made his debut, started for the first time as in, a, in a Creighton uniform. And he had a stretch in the first half where he scored nine straight points and helped flip the momentum of the game. Sharif Mitchell came in. And, and made an impact defensively like he does. You even saw Mitch Ballack dunk, got up and, and, and threw it down with one hand on a breakaway. So there were moments when it looked nice and, and you're reminded like, oh, okay, this is how the Jays want to play. But obviously there's some rust to shake off and uh, North Dakota State has played twice already and it kind of showed early on. The Bison got out to an early lead and kind of stuck with the Jays for much of the first half as, as Creighton kind of, I don't know, maybe just – working to find that 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 level of crispness sharpness i guess offensively where where the timings the way the where where it needs to be from a defensive standpoint communications where it needs to be like i think there's just some kinks that are going to have to be worked out as as the jays get more time uh, on the court and more reps um, they were also without denzel mahoney who um, decided to sit out today because he just returned to practice a, a day before the game on saturday um, after sitting out um, of practice with due to pro COVID-19 protocols. So he's still working back in the game shape and it's unclear when he's going to return. So it was obviously going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be different. And one thing that coach McDermott said about this team is that they've, they've really had a lot of uh, different lineups and sort of disjointed practices because guys have missed time with injuries or, uh, or COVID-19 protocol. So there's going to be, there's, some, some hiccups to have to work through not only uh, on Tuesday when the Jays get back on the court to play UNO but beyond they play again on Friday and a couple games next week as well so debut the debut's in the books Creighton got the win that it wanted and got the experience of being back out on the court and now the Jays are going to have to go to work and, and correct some of the, uh, the mistakes that were made um, and obviously try to shoot it better, right? <laughs> Mitch Ballack and Marcus Zagorowski had a lot of open looks and they finished a combined four for 20 from three. Those are shots that are going to hit normally and probably just with more reps and opportunity to get on the court, you're going to see those get, not get knocked down. But as a team, I think Creighton, what was it? They shot 23% from three. Uh, they got to do better than that, obviously, because that they're going to, they're going to need, they, they can do more than just the three to make then rely on the three, but they're going to need that shot. Uh, to open up their offense and to make it as efficient as it can be. So follow all our coverage on this team. Obviously, plenty of recaps from the game, photos uh, from the CHI Health Center. And uh, we're going to have plenty more this week. It's a busy week. The Jays play three times. This is the first of three games this week. So uh, stick with us. Follow our coverage. Thank you.